We'll start our paddock walk, probably the furthest we've ever been. We're way down on the West Track, which we'll be using next week for the British 24. Two drivers that will be taking part in that and taking part in our sprints. Mark Tate, Scott Tate. We'll start with Mark, who's just having a bit of a play around and working on some stuff. The stuff you're doing now, Mark, is this for tomorrow's race day or are you yes. sort of doing a bit for practice for the 24 as well? Um, a bit of both, really, to be fair. Um, just trying different motors to see what's going to be good for tomorrow. And, uh, we'll see how it goes. So have you pretty much made a change every session today just to see how it goes or have you just... Yeah, it was a bit wet this morning, so I it on with the chassis as I normally do. But uh, yeah, it's been good. Very good. A new chassis as yeah. well. How are you finding that? Very good. Very good. Wonderful. I'll go and yeah. speak to one at, one at Lads. Yeah, yeah. Well, Adam's, Adam's done a good job. Has he really? <laughs> <laughs> We'll have a quick chat with Scott while he's down here. I don't want to take too much time, but you've got a session in about 40 uh, yeah. minutes, but you've been out having some practice as well. Nice. Are you sort of just gearing everything up for this weekend or is there one eye on the 24 next weekend? Just for this weekend, really, then concentrate next weekend for the 24. So, you, you, I mean, you're fairly local, so I assume you're going home, whereas uh, I know yeah, people I, that are here for 11 days. Uh, so. We're back and forward, are we? When, when are you back for practice for that? Uh, Wednesday. Wonderful. Are you confident you've got a good lineup? I see. I've, I, I know who's in the team. Aye. This is a solid lineup. Aye, it should be good. Fast drivers. Wonderful. Well, all the best for this weekend, Cheers. and we'll obviously catch you next weekend as well. well. Right, let's get walking. My camera guy's about to get flattened by this 4x4, bringing somebody in, because we are practicing today with two race days as well. Nigel, let's have a quick chat with yourself. Obviously, you're on spanner duty. Have you officially yeah. retired from driving? Looks like we are. That's a shame. Yeah. You can, you can turn a wheel still. Oh, yeah. No, every now and then. Your lad's going very well, though. He's up there in the uh, Honda Pro Kart Club. He's doing yeah, well in Yeah, he's doing all right well. this year. Uh, yeah, BPEX better around from though. He enjoys the BPEX better than this. Still, still Andy at the sprints, isn't he? It's, just, it's oh, very. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, it's almost. We've seen this year that the race starts, there's that much action, and before you know, the check is out. It is, yeah. He's not keen on it, but he's uh, he'll get used to it. So, do you find, does he, as you find it, has it brought him on? Is he a fan of the uh, mixed grids or is he prefer no, quali? he prefers qualifying. Oh, that's a shame because he's got mixed grids for two days this exactly, week. Exactly, yeah. But uh, no, he's looking forward to the uh, 24. Wonderful. So, good. Cheers, Matt. Cheers. Exactly. Thank you very much, Nigel. Let's have a, another walk down. We'll see if we can catch anybody down here. There's one or two that are getting some practice in. There's, they're out, their cadets, they're out at the moment having their thing. Let's have a. I'll go to this guy because he's under a cart. So you, you know, stay down there. Stay down there and fix that. You fix it. I'll just put the microphone down there while you're working. <laughs> what, what, what are we doing to it? Just chain tension. So obviously it's open gearing in Senior Pro. Is, have you any of that? Or are you comfortable with your setup? Uh, I stick to 65. Yeah, pretty comfortable. It's, it's there or thereabouts. This, is, this is a new to me cart today, so... Um, so I'm just trying to play around with it. So yeah. this is an MS. Have you been on an MS all the I time, have. or is this the first time you've put, you know, pulled one out? I had a 2015 MS. Um, that's my old one there, 2018, and this is 2019. So I've been through three different, just trying things. So um, yeah. Just one of you racing tomorrow, or both? Just me. I was thinking it's getting quicker though. He's ready for racing. If not, you're gonna have to break some more numbers out. You can't run 11. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah good point. So, well, let's have a chat with him anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Rumour has it you're going quicker. <laughs> am I? Right, yeah. I am I am going quicker. This cart's made quite a difference to be honest. It's the first time I've tried one with a closed back and uh, yeah, I mean he's set it up well so I just jumped in it and see what happens with it. But yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's good. So you're just practicing today but we can expect to see you on the grid when the season resumes in September? Yeah, maybe. So. I don't know. I'm... I'm getting on a bit now. I don't bounce as well. Uh, yeah, but we've, we've got a we've got a forties class, so in a few more years you can enter that. <laughs> yeah, that would be good. Yeah, I've always liked you. Yeah, that's good. That <laughs> wonderful. But, uh, well, that's one fan I've gained here at Teesside, which is one more than I've had for most of the season. We'll have a quick wander down. This is Christian Oblag's car. I don't know where he is. He's in the van. I'll just surprise him. It's, Christian, welcome to the paddock walk. How are you? I'm great. Good. What are you eating? Maltesers, do you want some? Absolutely. I'll, I'll grab a few of them. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Chew up, chew up, Darren. I'm good. Hey, there, there, there. Fantastic. I've got a total two Maltesers in my chops. How's the cart going? 
It's not going too well, I'll be honest. No. I'm going quite slow today. It's not... I think it's mainly the old tyres, but... Hopefully, race day. It's going to well, rain either way, so... Well, juniors, obviously, on a practice day, you go out with the seniors. And yeah. it's often very difficult to see who's the junior and who's the senior. Because I mean, you're carrying 20 kilos less, but you've got cadet and spec yeah. engines on rather than... You know, it's just like about three tenths, but... What's it like when you're going out there, mixing it with the best part of 30 carts? And obviously on race day, it's around about 12 yeah. in the class. But, you know, on the practice day, when you're out there with a big grass, what's it like? It's actually good fun, you know. Yeah, it's just, it's not really intense, but it's good fun just practicing because you can learn a lot. It's also just really fun just going out with such a massive grid compared to ours, which is like 12. Where do you normally go? Do you try and get it at the front or yeah. off the back? or just? you always want to learn from the front ones. You always go out the front just to, because all the fast ones go past you and you can just learn whatever you need. That's the thing for me. I say it's about, you see a lot of the cadet drivers, they come through and they always like, they clamour to go at the back. Yeah. It's like, you know, even if it's like only your second session, get at the front and get overtaken, but learn from getting overtaken. Yeah. Yeah. It also helps just finding out where they overtake you, where you can start defending, how to make your car as wide as possible, so like that. Wonderful. Christian, thank you very much. All the best in Junior Pro. Tomorrow, we've got a birthday over here, so we might as well talk to him. Dan, why have you not got your kit on? You not been out? No, not today. Yeah. Caitlin's borrowing my car. You out so, tomorrow? No, no. Caitlin's got it for the weekend. For the weekend? Yeah. Are we are we into cart rentals now? <laughs> no, so no. Going right? No, no. <laughs> she never had one, so I just let her borrow mine. So wonderful. Are we, are we, are we stickering over the name, or are we? <laughs> Uh, we'll or are we just going to add cart rentals to the yeah, end of it? Good idea. Well, I can't believe you're not racing on your birthday. <laughs> it's poor show. Yeah. Or did you, did you not want to ruin it? No. <laughs> I, no. I, I, my intention was not to race this weekend anyway, so because um, I've had various things to do at home and everything's been quite busy. So, <laughs> so is yeah. is Caitlin treating it gently or is? Oh, she can she can batter it. I don't care. Oh, yeah, yeah. So right. I don't bother what she does with it. That's it. Free rain, Gordon. For her. free rain. <laughs> yep, yep. Wonderful. Dan, thank you very much. Nice. We'll head back that way and see who see else so we can have a chat to. I might stop here actually and just commentate on Minimax for a short while because there's a big curb there that I don't want Darren to trip over as we leave what is the 24-hour track and head into this little bit of cut through on the west track down onto the part we use. In fact, I'm going to speak to this man. He's not racing this weekend, but he will be next weekend. Yeah. Seb, how's things? Yeah, not bad. Keeping myself busy, but car so, looking good. So you're looking after some carts this weekend. Yeah. Um, what have you learned? Oh, many, many things. Uh, been up at the workshop since Monday and uh, we've got a couple new prototype chassis out today. Uh, two of them running out here, and I think you've probably just seen a couple of them down with the Tates, but, but it's looking good for now. So, which one are you in next week? The, not that one. No, no. no. Is, um, is yours unused? Are you getting box fresh? Not quite. We've got a fresher chassis that we haven't used before, but um, in the trailer over there, there are a pile of carts that have all been prepped for the 24, and then we'll only have to do a little bit to get these ones ready. So next weekend out of that awning, we've got, we're in double figures, aren't we? It must yeah. be it 10 carts. 10 carts, so pl yeah. plenty of work to do. Oh, but yeah. you'll be able to trade the spanners in for a steering wheel and a helmet next weekend, yeah? Definitely. Uh, was it Thursday testing starts? Straight out, definitely. Wonderful. Seb, thank you very much. Let's get going again. I want to have a quick chat down here, if he's good to go, to the driver in this 73 he's just took his lid off which is handy because i want to have a chat with him how are you young man good good talk to me about your engine because it's the first time you've had one that's been powered by petrol i believe yeah sure uh, yeah. you've come out of the, the rob smedley uh, total karting zero the electric series how do you it, how are you finding it adapting to the petrol engines good good you enjoyed it uh, have you been to teesside before no. Now, where are you, what are you finding the uh, the track out like? Good. Good. What's your favourite bit? I know which you're going to say because everybody says the same bit. Which bit, which is your favourite bit? bit? This bit here. Everyone says South Bank. Yeah, that. Bit. Everyone says South Bank, and then I get annoyed because I think it's boring. I think I, I like the D chicane. I think it's a real challenge to get right. Thoughts? 
Mastered it already, Annie. <laughs> Don't need to speak to him anymore. Mastered it. <laughs> so that's Archie Loveridge, uh, Cadet Club pole position tomorrow because he's mastered the D chicane already. We'll have a walk down. I think we've probably got around about five more minutes, I think. Let's have a... Oh, I've got some all parents for Bambinos in there. We'll just, we'll just find the next available driver. Here's an available driver. Yoshushka, how are we? Good. Good. You've just been out for a practice session. How's it, how's it going today? We've had some rain this morning. How's the track at the moment? It's all right. Good. You're in Cadet Club, you've had a, a pole position already this season, so are you confident of being towards the show? Big grid tomorrow though as well, 26. Yeah. We can quality top 10, top 5 maybe? Hoping for a top 3. Hop top 3, I love the confidence. So, big grid, who do you think's the biggest challengers in that Cadet Club class? Probably Sebastian Venson. He is quick, isn't he? Brilliant. Just all the very best for qualifying, which normally is in the afternoon of the practice day. However, because it's a double header, we'll be going to have quali tomorrow morning on Saturday, which will be the day you're watching this paddock walk. And we'll also have it uh, on Sunday morning as well. So we're going to have two qualifying sessions uh, for the race day. They'll do both days. The right picnic set up here. I'm, I'm, I'm coming in. I don't care. Who, who, who are we supporting? Melissa Adrian and Ben Adrian. Oh, you're you keeping the spot free. They're normally yeah, here, aren't they? Are they, are they? Are they still at school? Or are they just yeah, on holiday? Last, or Last day at school today and there was prizes and medals going out. So, you, so, you, so you, they, you've come, they didn't want you, to miss it. So you've come down thought, we'll keep the paddock space. and we've, oh, look, we've got a right side, we've got a kettle on down here. We've got the, right. got the no, picnic, we've got we've got the picnic <laughs> basket. <laughs> What, what's in the picnic basket? Well, it's empty, it's all the... Oh, look at that. Pop new bus a lot. They'll be coming to nothing because you've topped in. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Well, we'll see Ben and Melissa tomorrow. They'll be pitched up for here. Come in. I speak to, I've spoken to you twice now. You love it, don't you? Let's just yeah, keep walking. Nice. So, how are you? Let's we'll, we'll walk down. We'll just start walking. We'll, we'll turn this into your paddock walk. Okay. You interview me. How are you? I'm fantastic, thank you. I've got my own. I don't know why I'm sticking my head down there. That one's yours now. Um, what time have you done? Today? Yeah. Well, I've walked from the tar end of the West Track to here in a brisk 16 minutes. Wow, that is quite quick. Yeah. I've got a, I've got a cracking idea as well. Yeah? From here up to where that red car is, we'll have a running race now. Ready? No? Three, two, one, go. Mugged him right off. Here we go. Let's carry on. Always wanted to do that on a paddock walk. We just thought it'd be a bit of a laugh. So he's gone that way. We might have chance to have a chat with one more driver if we can find them down here. And I think for tomorrow's paddock walk, we might start down the other end and then walk back up, depending on who we can have a chat to. We've got three. We'll do we'll do all three of them here. We've got two bambinos and one cadet. We'll start. We'll go that way. Buddy, how are you? I'm fine. Good. Chloe, how are you? Good. Drew, how are you? He's good as well. Wonderful. Buddy, how's practice going? You, you're not in your race suit. Are you done for the day? Yeah. yeah to be fair, it's, it's later than I thought. We, we are done for the day, aren't we? Really? Everyone's had their last session. So, yeah. how's practice gone for you today? Good. Good. Wonderful. Chloe, we'll not ask you about the racing. We'll ask you about what's coming up in a few weeks' time. Um, you're about to get yourself a little brother. Yeah. You're looking forward to it? Yeah. Now, I was speaking to your dad earlier, and he says that they've, they've not agreed on a name yet, but he says that you're set on one. What, what do you want to call him? Theo. Theo. So, if we say now that we've got to call him Theo, then it's on camera, isn't it, and we've got to call him Theo? Yeah. Wonderful. Do you want a message for your mum, because she's almost a, a, yeah. a, about to, to pop? Yeah. So, you want to say good luck? Wonderful. Let's go and have a quick chat with Drew. Drew, I saw you out earlier on in the... You, you face that way. We'll, we'll face that way. I'll hold your scooter. It's perfectly fine. It gives me something to lean on in my old age. Um, I saw you out earlier in practice, and in the wet, you were sensational. You were fantastic. Now, we know that you're from Scotland, and it rains a lot, and that's what your dad was saying. Are we, are we, do we, are we hoping for a wet weekend? Yeah. Yeah, look at the smile, he, 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 he hopes it hammers it down. Wonderful, because you were, you were up there, you were running at pro level pace yeah. in the wet. You must be really, really confident with that. Yeah, I like a wet. It's probably my favourite. I don't like an in between that's bad. I can't so, even find a set up. So you like it, like full on hammering it down then? Yeah. 
Wonderful. You're probably the only driver here that's hoping for a deluge tomorrow and uh, on Sunday as well. I'll give you your scooter back. Wonderful. And that pretty much wraps up our paddock walk, which will go out on Saturday.